Hey everyone, nice to see you here. No tutorial today, just a quick little video on something else. It's been almost to the day, four years since I posted my first tutorial here on YouTube. Hi everyone, welcome to my very first YouTube tutorial and for that matter, my very first spoken video on YouTube. And uh, I hope I have improved my craft in that time a little bit. When I post that first tutorial video, I had a small number of videos of me just playing the guitar and I had a few hundred subscribers. Things started to grow almost immediately when I started posting lessons and the rate of growth has been slow but steady with roughly 10,000 subscribers added each year. Some people have gotten in touch with me expressing their hope of the channel blowing up soon. But to be honest, I rather like this slow and steady growth as it allows me to learn and evolve along with it. Let me give you a quick overview of the last few years in a few short topics. And all the way at the end, I have something special for you. My most influential supporter is someone that has been here from the beginning. He was in fact one of the very first people on the Patreon credit roll. But even when I only had about 10 full lessons on Patreon, he got in touch with me and advised me on different ways to move forward. He told me to build the website I launched a few months ago. He was heavily involved in the project and he even employed some of his own staff to completely design both my logo and new website. And what is more, he did it all while his country got pulled into a brutal war. I remember him sending over the final version of the logo late at night and the next day I woke up to a phone filled with messages of Russia invading Ukraine. But these people never stopped working, never missed a single video chat. Whenever I told them that this could wait if the time was not right for them, his response was, it's the only fun thing we have left to do right now. All of them are safely in the UK now, where a branch of his business is located. So Gennady and Anna, thank you for everything you've done. The website wouldn't be here without you. My hardest lesson to learn is that making these tutorials has become much more complicated than it used to be. Just compare the list of what I had to do four years ago versus what I have to do today. And whenever I press the stop button after recording a lesson, I'm still thinking I'll have this online by tomorrow, only to be still be doing one of these jobs four days later. My biggest break, and I hope this doesn't offend anyone, was the COVID pandemic. All of a sudden, a lot of people were locked in their houses and decided to give this solo acoustic thing a try. I can't even recall the amount of times people have told me they found my channel and lessons because of the pandemic. For new members on Patreon, it was almost the basic way of introducing themselves at one point. My biggest jump scare was my cover of CT43 by Alip Bata being picked up by the mighty YouTube algorithm. I remember posting it, moving on to something else and checking in an hour or two later. At that point it had already gotten more views than all my other cover videos combined. And it is then when I realized that I was very much okay with that slow and steady growth of my channel. I found it all pretty intimidating, to be honest. Uh, and I'm sure it's also typical for YouTube for this to happen on a video I spent nearly no time on. I did two takes, posted the second one, and that was it. In size, it's still the smallest video library in my entire catalog. My proudest moment was Tommy Emmanuel himself recognizing the work and the dedication it takes to do this kind of work. It's not in the interview itself, but after the cameras were off, we were still talking a bit. And at that point, he expressed his respect, specifically mentioning the amount of time it takes to do just one of these lessons. He knows 
I don't shy away from doing 10 part, two hour long lessons, if that is what it takes to tackle every single line, lick or impossible chord shape in a certain tune. And that is also, I think, the reason why he lets me do this work and is supportive about it. Because as smoothly as things are going right now, things weren't always looking so bright. My biggest setback, or at least I thought it was a setback at the time, was me having to take down loads and loads of videos. When I got to around 10,000 subscribers, I was getting worried about copyright issues. And also about Tommy disapproving of me leeching off his work on the channel. So I got in touch with his management, which at the time felt like loading a gun or a full-sized cannon and pointing it at my own foot. And sure enough, I had to take down a lot of material. And as devastated as I was when the news came in, it turned into the best thing imaginable. Two things happened. This was the first time I got a massive amount of feedback from my community. I even had people sending me messages from the US that they were getting in their car and driving up to the management's office to plead for me. And for the first time, I had the feeling that these lesson videos were important to a lot of people. So just stopping, which I was contemplating at the time, was suddenly no option anymore. After some further talks with the management, I could restart the business behind the paywall, with copyrights being sorted out through music notes. And it worked for both parties. My Patreon page is turning this hobby into a full-time business, and through the sales on music notes, I have paid thousands of dollars in copyrights to Tommy and the other artists I'm covering on the channel. My hardest challenge didn't have anything to do with playing the guitar. A lot of people on Patreon are aware of this, but I've never talked about this on YouTube before, I think. Uh, in June of 2020, my baby boy was born, and the first few weeks were absolutely amazing, with all the love in the world from his parents and his big sister. And then things started to go wrong. Well, things completely nosedived, actually. And we went through the hardest two years of our lives here. My son was having major digestive issues. He couldn't eat properly and he cried his lungs out 24 seven. Recently, I had to fix an audio issue on an old video and I noticed him screaming in the background. This is three rooms and as many doors away and I have a soundproof door in my office here. Instant PTSD. My wife crashed and I did my best to carry the family and that meant being on call every hour of the day and every hour of the night. In short, I did not get a full night's sleep for over two years. That is why I look so extremely tired in some of those old videos. But the channel became the only positive thing left to focus on for me. And for a short time, it became an absolute obsession. I had to get something done or I would crash myself, which of course did happen about eight months later. My little guy is doing just fine now. He's the brightest and cuddliest boy you can imagine. And some of these old videos are going to get a makeover because in a few of them I have to look for my words so often that it becomes hard to understand what I'm rambling on about. My biggest surprise is the place I find myself in today. This hobby has grown into a real job. My wife often talks about the time I explained her what Patreon is and how it could maybe get me some returns for the work I'm doing. And then after the copyright issues with Tommy's management, this page blew up and left her and my jaw firmly on the floor. Over the last year, I have started a company to house all the different projects and I've launched my own website. I'm surprised every single day that new people are finding me and are signing up for one of these platforms. I'm not doing 
any digital marketing or ads or SEO tricks, this is all what you would call organic growth. And most of all, I am surprised by how supportive everyone is. The website has launched, it's getting more and more subscribers and despite the fact that we are still trying to root out some teething problems, no one is complaining, exactly like it went on Patreon. You guys are giving me the room to get to grips with this work as it develops and gets more and more complicated. Remember that list from before. Quite often, almost every time I have to, when I'm replying to messages, I have to start with I'm so sorry for this late reply, uh, you probably heard this if you ever messaged me, but I'm doing all this work by myself, etc, etc. Your responses are always reassuring. Don't worry, it's fine, we understand. The whole project is getting to a difficult phase right now. Uh, it's, uh, the amount of work is huge, but it is also slowly turning into a steady source of revenue. But at this time, living in the country with the highest taxes in the world, it isn't enough yet to do this as my main job. So I'm still holding down a regular job as well. So I cannot promise that these response times are going to drastically improve soon. But as always, I'll do my best. Now it's time to look forward to see what the future holds. And... My first giveaway. It's almost by accident that this came about. About a year ago, the people of Mason contacted me to thank me for using one of their guitars in so many different videos. And they offered me a guitar of choice. And at the time, the frets in my trusty Mason were completely worn out. So I asked them for more or less the same model. They made me one, they shipped me one, and the guitar got lost. They did find it, but it took almost six months to arrive on my doorstep. And by that time, the frets on my other Mason had already been replaced. Now, I'm not a gearhead, and I mostly like to stick what I know is going to work. So, I'm giving this one away. It's a beauty, as you can see. And there are only two things you have to do. You have to be a subscriber to my YouTube channel and you have to leave a comment on this video letting me know what you would like to see here in the future. Just more finger style lessons? Great, I'll be happy to oblige. But maybe there is something missing here. More interviews, a live stream every now and then, more songs with the vocalist. All suggestions are welcome. I'll be closing the competition on December 20th and I'll announce the winner soon after that. In the meantime, I'm going to get back to work on my next lesson. I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and the best of luck in the giveaway competition. <laughs>